How's it going, guys? Welcome to Third Person Comic Review. Today I am joined by Chris. What's up, man? <laughs> and we're going to be going over issue 160 of The Walking Dead. Now, this issue was very good, and it sets us up for an even better issue, I believe. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so we start off, we're having the aftermath of the battle between Beta and Michonne and Dwight and all of them. And Dwight and Michonne are going through killing whispers. Uh, then we go straight into Beta being like, did you see my face? Oh, no, no, we didn't see your face. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, we see more of Heath saving, uh, what's his name, Sebastian? Mm-hmm. I think so. No, no, Vincent. Vincent. I don't know. They look the same to me, to be honest with you. All right. I'll let that slide because it's a comic character. Um, we see Rick and Andrea having a little bit of a disagreement on what to do, I believe. Right? Mm-hmm. And I think that about sums... Oh, wait, no. We have an attack on the hilltop. I was going to say, did you, were you going to forget that? That was no, a big setup. No, no. Never forget that because that is probably the best part of this issue. Yeah, I agree. That's definitely the best part. So you want to start us here on our uh, little recap there, Chris? Yeah, let's... Uh, where, where do you want to go? Let's hit the first page. So like you said... Um, oh, yeah. So we get... We get um, Heath uh, saving... Vincent from you know they're walking home after they sent him they sent him off home right so send him packing send him packing and kept his horse uh what what's her name again uh you have Sherry you have is um it, is it Sherry yeah Sherry, Sherry is the white's who's, ex-wife who's now. kind of running she's running the, the uh sanctuary right now yeah the yeah, new so, saviors so she was an asshole and she sent him out the last time yeah I mean I mean I mean these it's these, a pretty straightforward issue yeah, these were cool because as they were walking through, they're fighting, right? They, yeah, uh, it, it looks so cool, and I can't wait for this to be an episode. Oh my god, yeah. Well, you know, now that we're getting really good comic stuff, th I feel like the stuff in this in in the show, the fact that they're sticking so close to it right now in the show is 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 bodes well for later on when they do this stuff in the show. You know, and they have really to do does. this stuff in the show. You know. Um, so I'm just quickly scrolling through. This is uh, this is the part where Beta, where they're like, um, you know, because didn't he kill one of them? Yeah, Last he tried issue? to take his mask off. And he fucking, and he, and he fucking, yeah. he killed him. So he was like, right, you said, like you said, anyone look at our shit at my face? And he's like, they're like, uh, no, 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 we didn't. Oh, no. Yeah. So, um, so they, they what, they're going to go back and they're going to go ahead and they're going to fucking, they're going to. They have a plan, they say. Yeah. And we don't know what that plan is yet, though. We don't know if it's the attack on the hilltop. I don't know yet. The, the whispers are pretty well prepped yeah. for, you know, bare-bone survivalists. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's, that's all they do, you know? Um, yep. So, uh, okay, so uh, so you can see what we got here. We're just going third again, and we have, um, then we like you said, Sherry. So she shows, she's following them. And, um, and, you know, and sometimes this is where it gets a little, the way they do the comic is like, especially in these things, how they just cut, you know, there's like four panels for scene for scene. And, and I know, like I just yeah. said, sometimes these characters look alike to me. If they don't have facial hair or different color oh, hair or their clothes, like some of them, I can't tell. Like, I'm like, well, who, who's this? Who's that? Damn it. You know? And then I got to watch the dialogue and be like, oh yeah. Okay. This is, this is who that person is again, you know? Yeah, random guy number three looks just like Vincent, and I've seen that. And well, I don't... yeah, like look at you know if you look if you look here at the um on the third row the last panel where the guy says I can see that now, but that's but that's Aaron's boyfriend, right? Yeah. Well, no, in the last panel that is um. No, 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 no. Third the... row, third row, oh, last. Third panel, row. When he's that's... holding the gun, he says I can see that. That's. Um, that's know, Aaron my... and the doctor. Oh, that's the doctor. Oh, okay. Does he have yeah, a boyfriend the in, the in the comic? He does, doesn't he? Is that only in the show? I'm getting confused. Uh, I, I don't think that's the same doctor from the beginning. Yeah, I think that's anyway. a different doctor. Um, but uh, the thing I get confused sometimes because they make Aaron and Eugene look so alike in the comic. Uh, yeah, they do. But now Eugene's got the long ponytail. so. Yeah. And now occasionally you, can you can't see the back of Aaron's hair. So you don't know. That's true. And when they cut scenes so quickly, you know, it's like. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, all right, so we'll just move forward, and they're still they're still fighting the. Uh, they're finishing off the walkers and the whisperers. Um, I enjoyed. I really enjoyed this. 
I like how they split off and they went and they and yeah. they did and they did that little thing. I mean, that was really cool. Dwight's Dwight's a pretty good tactician. He's you know? stepping up big time in the comic, and I hope he redeems himself in the show like he has in the comic. Yeah. I don't remember him being such a dick in the comic, though, as he was. He was the... a pretty big dick. Was he? Maybe he was a really big dick. But, like, here, like, this panel, when there was one alive, you know, he, and he's, he's apologizing, and Dwight just fucking blows his head off, you know, like... Yeah. He, Dwight's not taking any shit from anybody. You know no, what I mean? I, I'm glad, too, because the Whispers don't deserve to have mercy. No. No, they don't. No, not if you're going to live like that. Um, And then we go... So what's this guy's name again? The guy that wants... uh. I forget his name. He's an important character, but his name is so unimportant to me because he's just the love struck douche. But the, the important thing I think about him is that he he'll do anything for Maggie. Like he will. He, he wants to make sure like that she's safe and everything, and that's fine, you know. Um, and I think this speaks volumes for the impact that Glenn had on Maggie. This scene here. Mm-hmm. Elaborate because, on that. Uh, so she's he's confessing his love and she's just like no i i've had someone i've had that one love and i don't need another and he's like so you're just going to live with your dead husband for the rest of your life yeah when i think of him he makes me happy and that there just it really correlates to her story completely it also it also keeps her i'll use the word pure but only in the sense that she stays. Oh, maybe I'll use focused instead. She stays focused. It help. It, it helps her stay focused as opposed to being like, well, now I have someone else in my life that I have to worry about. Yeah. Meanwhile, I have Sophia and um, Herschel. Herschel, and I need to focus on that and what I'm doing for this community here. Which we see her throw that all away later on in the, this issue here. She says, "The house it's on fire," and she runs in because Herschel's in there. Yeah. Well, or it goes to Russia. But th again, that's her first. That's her first. Uh, one of her first. You know, what's the word? I I things that are most important to her. You know what I mean? Priorities. That, probably the top priority. I, I think Sophia oh, yeah. at this point becomes second. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah. So, but again, he's like you said, he's love struck, and he's going to do whatever she wants. But like I said, I think I think that that's a good. I think it's good for her to be a leader to not try yeah. and get embroiled in some stupid, you know, shit. Because what happens when he wants to go fuck someone else? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he likes She's this chase. Yeah, and 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 you know, and if he wants to go and do whatever he wants, and he's gonna justify it by being like, "Well, you didn't like me anyway," or whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah. So and the fact that she's still on on Glenn, like that's also like touching. You know, she doesn't. You know, she. That's what she likes. That's what she wants, you know, and it makes her happy. Yeah. Until it doesn't. Until she's ready to move on. And right now, that's not it. So, yeah, you know. yeah. It's only been like what a year? No, no, two years. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, no, well, yeah. I guess two years since what the time break. I think it's two years. I, think I can't it's two remember. years since the time break. Uh, let's move on. So we're getting close to the end, and we got um. So obviously, you know, uh, Carl and, and Lydia. Lydia are you know they're. They're banging. They're they're doing their thing. They're living there. He's how old is he in here? Fifteen? I think he's sixteen. Sixteen? Oh wait, no, no. He was ten in the comic or eight in the comic. So what is he here? Thirteen? I think so. I, I think he's just now reaching like adolescence. I don't know. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, it but... really is. I mean, to think about it, in the zombie apocalypse, though, you really go back to medieval times where you're going to have to like find that person early on yeah and i think the age your age drops a lot like you, you, your maturity yeah. age has to drop a lot you know well i mean just like in the medieval ages they was marrying off like 11 year olds yeah because hey you only live to 30 so you better mature fast so crazy um last uh last couple panels here I thought that was like snow and I'm like, yeah, oh that's what shit, I was thinking it's going to be like snowing and stuff. And then all of a sudden it's fucking oh, God, my eye. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Like fucking crazy. You know what I mean? I was like, oh shit. And then right away I was like, well, here come the whispers. These fucking assholes. Right. Um, I was thinking it was either the whispers or a new group. Maybe and I was like, oh God. Oh, I, I kind of figured it was the whispers because they said that they were sending them over there. Right. That was part yeah. of their plan was to send them over there. Um, 
So like, I don't know, just really cool. I love the zombies in this. I love how they they have the white eyes and. Yeah, they portray them really well. Yeah, look at that guy. The guy in the middle there. He's uh, as he's ripping off in third paddle in the middle row there. He's having a good old time ripping that the guy's yeah, face yeah. open. Um, no, very, very, very crazy. And then um, yeah. Very, and you know, you said medieval, and these flaming arrows coming down. Like you can't get more medieval than fucking flaming it arrows over the wall. volumes for it. You Definitely. know what I mean? Um, and You've gone and, back in time in this uh, in this show, really. Yeah, and how much, how much devastation and damage that flaming arrows can do? Like just, just well, kind of crazy. Most of their patchwork's done for their houses and stuff with like hay and stuff now. Yeah, so. yeah. So, um, so Carl running around yelling, look. Okay, the, the, the panel where he gets up, he's like, holy shit, I'm alive. Oh my god, I didn't get hurt. Holy crap. You know, like... The comic reminds me so much of Krillin from Team Four Star. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, and right. Every great. character with a dumbstruck face reminds me of that. Of Krillin, right. Yeah. Um, so we got everyone running out, and it's like, it's cool, I like it. Um, we, uh, oh, okay, right, so this is, this is what I was looking for. When, um, yes. She catches up with him. And, uh... They're like, you gotta send your soldiers? No. Fuck you. Yeah, what the hell? She's like, oh. <laughs> she just wanted to, like, check on him. Like, okay, that's kind of noble, but... you. And then she's like, you want to take the, the horse back? He's like, no, fuck it. Keep, keep the fucking horse, asshole. You're not gonna send the soldiers. You're not get, You're not gonna give us the horse. Yeah, just we're not... go. We're not accepting it. Just get the hell out of here, you know what I mean? You've made your war. Now lie in it. So, I mean... I, you know, fuck, fuck this girl, you know, but, yeah. but you gotta, but you, you know, it's, it's, it's the drama of it. Like they're going to continue to, there's always going to be even, even people who, who you think are your allies are always going to be especially some bullshit. In yeah. You know, there's always going to be. So, I mean, it never ends. It's, it, it come at, comes at them from all angles. So back at, um, Hilltop and, um, no, things are getting fucking crazy, uh, and you know they're they're doing their best to keep it down, to keep down the the uprising or, or the that the... first panel. Oh my god! When I first clicked on this onto page it, or the oh, yeah the... that first okay. panel there, yeah. when I saw the arrow in the head, I couldn't stop laughing. I laughed for like two minutes straight on it. I don't <laughs> why know why. I don't know why it, it was just so hilarious to be like. Of all the things to die from, a flaming arrow through the forehead mm -hmm. is one of them. Yeah. The arrow, the flame got put out by being going through the skull. Crazy. Yeah. That's a lot of force to get through the fucking skull, though. Shit. Yeah. Those aren't long bows. No, those are those are well, like regular are strung bows. I guess so. Yeah. Like those are what Native Americans would use, which did penetrate skin. Yeah, Because you know the tension on it. Anyway, so yeah, just just more fucking mayhem like i love what they do with the fire in black and white yeah. it looks so vibrant like it's they add a glow to it like it's just really cool um, you can do a lot with uh with comics now without having to use color and that, yeah. that's what i really like yeah it's 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 amazing and so like we, we'll just keep moving and you know we end up getting to the point where lydia pops out and decides she that she wants to, to fight choice. yeah yeah, she decides that she wants to fucking go, you know, fight with them, and she, so she does. And there you go, and she's yeah. fucking, and um, that's that's important because I don't know. Up to this point, was she on the fence about it? Like, I think she was. I, I really do think she was, and I think this is the last panel in it, so it really puts an end cap on it. Yeah, like she's now with us. Screw you, whispers. Yeah, yeah. And then we go to letters. So. I don't know. This was definitely a good setup. Yeah. I'm. I'm really. This is. This is four of five. No, four of six. Four of six. This is four of six in this arc. One sixty one is the. It's five of like six. Is the penultimate, point, right? So I like it. I really enjoy. I'm really like this arc is really cool. Like, and I wonder what the fuck's gonna happen after it. You know, like, and I like how their arcs are like they're numbered. You know when you're gonna get there, and you know when. Yeah. You know it's gonna change. So. It's yeah, not so. like the show where it's like, oh, you're on this episode. What's going to happen next? Right, exactly, yeah. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this issue, guys. Uh, if you didn't know, we're doing 160 and 161 back-to-back -back because we had recording issues and couldn't get it out last month. But 
we look forward to doing 161 and we hope you guys look forward to it too yeah. this uh this set of comics has been one of the best probably since issue 100 yeah uh yeah. and that's including negan yeah no i i like this war this was definitely a different war and i like i like where they went with this and more gruesome about seeing it yeah it's just just the concept of uh people wearing other people's skin and then fighting and they've gone back into the you know primitive you know yeah, yeah. i like it it's good it's very, very good. silence the lambsy yeah yeah and kind of sad to see it to go when it does next month but i, I don't know if they're gonna like leave the whispers after this though I think there might be another arc involving them. Well, it, depending on the outcome of that war, they may yeah. get folded in. You know what? We'll talk about that next issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, as always, thank you for watching. We have some links down in the description you want to check out, such as Two Punch, me and Herman, Ronan's gaming channel, or Chris's gaming channel, named Ronan1011. And uh, we also have a giveaway going on. We have three days left on it as of today, today. which is Monday. Uh, I'll put the link down there also, so check them out, and for third person, I'm out. See you guys.